this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, as well as Esther on her new dance mat cake, <laughs> I'm going to be joined by Squishy. Hello, Squishy. <laughs> Were you da have you been under underneath there swimming all night? You know I've got a lovely guest room up here, and you decide to spend the entire night down there in the water swimming around. Well, I suppose you're a duck, and it's what makes you happy, so that's okay. Anyway, I am also going to be joined by... <laughs> this is a new way to play cake, Peekaboo. Go on then, Lee Bear. Peekaboo! Come on, do peekaboo, peekaboo. Oh, that's you already up. <laughs> peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. If I go further back here, maybe it might look a little bit better. Let me go back out the door. We do peekaboo through the window. There we go. Now you can do peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> Actually, I suppose this is a good practice uh, for what we're playing today, where we are going to be doing lots of peekaboo. And uh, do you do mind if I um eat this uh, cake a little bit? Uh, you don't mind me uh, revealing where you are? Is that okay? Okay then. Nom 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 nom. There we go. Oh, I've ruined the illusion a little bit down there. <laughs> You're just in a, a little hole. Anyway, I'm not only going to be joined by Esther, Lee Bear and Squashy, I am also going to be joined by Chloe and Finball. <laughs> I had no idea where they were going to appear from. People like to pop out all over the place these days, so I had no idea where they were going to be <laughs> uh, joining me from. So yeah, I've also got Chloe and Finball joining me in the first ever Mole Hole Tournament. So why don't you all of you uh, go and head over to the uh, the fun land and get ready to play. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to go and head over, of course, to the love garden uh, to announce who is going to be being uh, added to it today. And that person is Hashem. And uh, that is because, uh, Hashem, sorry, uh, Hashem or Hashem. I'm assuming Hashem is probably how you pronounce it. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm adding him is because he sent me these pictures of his birthday party where he had lots of stampy cats. You can see uh, that they made lots of stampy cat heads in in all sorts of different colours and everyone was wearing one and I thought they looked so amazing. I wanted to say thank you very much uh, for sending me the uh, the drawings. I hope you had a uh, amazing birthday and welcome to my love garden. Right then, let's now go and head to the fun land and begin playing the mole hole game. I'm going to go a different route, seeing as I'm not going to be taking a dog with me today uh, because obviously we're playing a mini game which involves firing arrows and holes. Uh, yeah, it's probably not a, uh, a good idea <laughs> to have a, uh, a dog with me today. I'm a Let's sail a boat. Let's go and sail a boat to my fun land. That will be uh, a nicer change. And uh, yeah, we are doing the, the mole hole game. And if you haven't seen uh, the last couple episodes, uh, the idea of the game is that there's going to be a mole uh, hiding in some tunnels. And then they poke their little head out of a, a few little holes. And then everyone else who's in the middle in the mole mound uh, needs to try and spot them. And the first person to spot them and shoot an arrow to a pressure plate uh, is going to be the, the winner. And then they are the, the mole next. And uh, the way we're going to do it is the first person to spot a mole three times uh, is going to be the overall winner and then that person gets to decide a, uh, another mini game which we are going to be playing uh, but the thing is you're only allowed one arrow which means that if you miss your whoa what happened there what happened there? I just teleported. <laughs> yeah, so if you um, yeah, if you uh, miss your arrow, or if your arrow hits someone else, or anything other than the pressure plate, uh, then that means your arrow is wasted, and then you've got no chance uh, of spotting the mole. Which means what you could try to do, and oh, easy, easy, Finball. The game's not started yet. Well, that's your arrow gone for the first round then, Finball, I'm afraid. <laughs> only joking, only joking. Right, I'm going to use this as my arrow then. Uh, yeah, which means uh, what we could do is you could have a mole blocker, which means that as someone else is about to shoot an arrow, you could dive in front of them and uh, try and uh, block uh, the arrow, uh, so then that way uh, they don't hit the pressure plate. It might hurt a little bit, uh, but that's why I've made the rule of no enchanted bows. We are only going to be using normal bows, not these special fire arrows. Anyway then, uh, the big question is, who is going to be the mole first? So, the first person inside of the mole mound can be the mole first. The first person to get inside is going to have the first go being the mole. It looks like it's going to be Lee Bear, and it is going to be Lee Bear, so uh, you can go straight out of the mole mound again now Lee and uh, you can go down into the uh, the mole hole uh, down here and uh, you can go and decide uh, which hole you want to be in so all of us uh, need to go inside of the uh, the mole mound if you come and follow us Chloe uh, you can come and uh, join us in the middle here and you need to get one arrow and uh, you of course need to, to have a bow as well so I've already got my arrow uh, but I need to make sure I get a, a normal bow 
uh, so that way I don't inflict uh, too much damage on anyone. And uh, while we're uh, all here getting ready, uh, Lee Bear is going to be underneath in the tunnels, uh, deciding uh, which hole he wants to be in. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin the first ever game of Mole Hole. When you're ready, Lee Bear, start poking up and down. So all we need to do uh, is try and spot which hole he's in and uh, try and find out where he is. Oh, Chloe shot an arrow. I think Chloe spotted him. I think Chloe did. Yes, Chloe was able to hit him. Was it? Was it Chloe that did it? It was. Chloe was able to spot the first mole. Despite never playing this game before, uh, she was able to do it brilliantly. So that means, Chloe, uh, you got the first point and you can now go underneath into the, the tunnels and you are going to, to be the mole mole next time so uh, well done Lee Bear you did a, a very good job being the the first of a mole and uh, while Chloe's getting into position uh, we should all kind of uh, sheepishly look at our toes a little bit just to make sure uh, we don't spot her uh, when she's uh, getting into her into her hole we've got to make sure uh, she has plenty of time to pick where she wants to be and uh, we don't want to spot her you need to kind of crouch when you're inside uh, so then that way people don't see you uh, before you start jumping up and down I like it uh, when they're playing peekaboo but well done Chloe well done Chloe for her first ever time playing immediately spotting the the mole uh, but she should now uh, hopefully be in position uh, so we can begin round two in three two one go you can look at everyone there hurriedly uh, looking out their windows uh, trying to, to spot where she is I can't see her anywhere uh, she must be uh, poking down quite a lot is she on this side somewhere down here on this side oh I can see her I can see her but I need to get to the window I don't want to hit anyone else can I shoot the pressure plate I don't know if I can get this angle no I didn't I shot the wall oh, I was able to get my arrow back though I was able to get my arrow back and no one else has hit the pressure plate yet but no no I hit Lee Bear I think we're all just shooting each other. I think Finball is the only person uh, with an arrow left but he has to try and shoot the mole. I think everyone's got to get out their way now if you don't <laughs> have any arrows. And I think we all just shot each other then. Um... Okay, so <laughs> we've all just got arrows. Oh, Chloe got, um, uh, Squishy got hit twice. Finball didn't get hit at all. Right, tell you what, Chloe, you can come out of there. Let me just go and shoot her out. She can go and pick a, uh, a new hole and uh, we all go and get one more uh, arrow each and uh, we can go and have another go. Uh, we all did too good at blocking there. So, Chloe, uh, you can now hop out and uh, you can just go and jump in any other hole. Uh, everyone else look down at the ground so we don't see uh, which hole she uh, jumps into and uh, we can all have uh, another go uh, with one arrow each. We were just... Uh, a little bit too good at doing the, the blocking there. And careful, everyone. Come on. This is supposed to be a nice, friendly game of molehole. <laughs> anyway, Chloe should be in position. Uh, so let's go and uh, try again in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Right, let's see if I can spot her quickly before anyone else can. Oh, I've spotted her, but so has Lee Bear. I need to get a, a clear window. Oh, no, everyone's hitting each other again. Can I get a clear shot? Oh, no, I didn't. But someone else did. Who was that? That was Lee Bear. Lee Bear was able to, to get her. So looks like, Lee Bear, you are going to be the, the mole yet again. And uh, you have got one point. And remember, you only need three points uh, in order to, to be the winner. So if Chloe or Lee uh, win twice more, uh, then they are going to win the uh, the tournament overall and uh, decide a, uh, another mini game for us all to play. So Chloe, uh, you can go and grab one more arrow. Uh, make sure everyone only has uh, one arrow each and uh, everyone else can kind of look at the uh, the floor again uh, just to make sure we don't get any uh, sneaky uh, glances of where Lee Bear might be hiding. So uh, hopefully Lee Bear's in position now so we can begin the next round of Moho in three, two, Two, one, go, 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 go. Right, everyone go and look at the windows. Oh, I can spot him. I spotted him absolutely immediately. And can I get him? And yes, I was able to get him. I spotted him straight away and I was able to find him. That is one point for me. So uh, one point for Stampy Cat which means it is now my go to be the mole. So everyone else, uh, make sure you got one arrow each. And uh, while you're up there, I need to go and decide which hole I'm going to go in. And I'm not sure I might go for this one. It doesn't really matter which one I go into, but this one uh, will do fine for me. So everyone can begin trying to spot me in three, two, one, go. So now all I need to do is stay down in this hole and every now and then just go peekaboo and just poke my little head out. I saw everyone. I saw everyone looking for me, but I don't know if they saw me. Right, let's go and poke up again. Peekaboo. Oh, I think someone might have seen me. Peekaboo. Yep, they've definitely seen me. Oh no, but Finball missed his shot and I can hear everyone else shooting each other. Peekaboo. <laughs> it's kind of scary. And there we go. I think that was Squashy. I think Squashy was able to get me. Well done, Squashy. Which means you are going to, to be the mole next. So you can uh, come on down. Everyone else can stay inside in the, uh, the middle of the mole mound. Actually, I should probably go and uh, grab these arrows. And uh, yeah, let's go back into the middle and uh, we can have the, the next game. Uh, well spotted there, Finball. Uh, you 
sadly just missed the shot. You need to make sure you're really accurate. The trick is uh, to try and spot them and uh, take your shot off really quickly uh, before everyone else has had a chance to spot them as well. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, hopefully Squashy's in position now uh, so we can begin the next round in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Right, where is she? Where is she? Is she down here somewhere? Oh, did I see her? Did I see her over there? No, I don't think I did. Oh, no. oh down. Oh, no. Where, where is she? Oh, oh, the shot's going off. The shot's going off everywhere. Is she over here somewhere? I can never shoot the shot. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, she's out. She's out the hole. There we go. I think that was, was that Chloe? Uh, was Chloe the, the person that was able to uh, to shoot whoever shot the uh, pressure plate uh, jump on the top? Oh, it was Lee Bear. Lee Bear was able to, to shoot Squishy and Squishy. What? You don't look like a mole. You're, you're dressed up with a pumpkin on your head. I can see your little beak poking out the front as well. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good look for you. It's um very terrifying, to be honest. Uh, anyway, Lee Bear, uh, well done for, for winning a uh, another round. Uh, so you are going to, to be the mole uh, yet again, and you can go down into the tunnels. And uh, this actually means that if Lee Bear uh, wins one more go, he is going to be the overall winner. So uh, he certainly seems to be the, the person to be going against. Uh, everyone else can now look down at the floor. Uh, make sure you got one arrow each and one arrow only and the first person to spot Lee Bear and shoot the pressure plate uh, is going to win this round. So let's start it in three, two, one, go, 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 go. All right, where is Lee Bear? Where is Lee Bear? Look for him uh, going to, to poke out somewhere around here. He might be sneaky and not poking out very much. Oh, looks like looks like Finball might have seen him and Finball has seen him. He's down here, but can anyone get a shot without hitting each other? I need a clear shot and there we go. I was able to do it. I was able to just about get a clear shot as everyone moved out of the way and and that is another point for me. So that's two points to me, two points to Lee, uh, one shot uh, for Chloe, uh, one point for Squashy, and sadly no points for Finball yet. Okay, so everyone else get into the uh, the middle of the mole mound, and I'm going to decide uh, which hole I am going to, to hide in. I think uh, I might hide in this one. Everyone make sure that you're not looking yet. But you can now begin the next round of a mole hole in three, two, one, go. So I'm going to go and try and do the, the same I did last time. I'm going to be sneaky and only poke my head up every now and then and see who's going to be the first person to spot me. And oh, oh, I just stared someone straight in the eyes and it's Lee Bear and Lee Bear saw me, which means that Lee Bear is the winner. He was able to get three points way before anyone else. Very well spotted, Lee Bear. Very well spotted. I guess that means that you are the mole hole master. Very good. Very good, Lee Bear. Well done. And what this also means is that you are able to decide uh, on a uh, another mini game uh, for us all to play. So uh, what game uh, would you like uh, us all to play then, Lee Bear? Uh, let's just see where he's going to uh, going to lead us to. Is it Flower Power? No. Oh, he wants to play Broth Brawl, uh, one of my newest games. Okay, well, there's lots of us, uh, so this would be a good game to play. Uh, it's probably a good idea to, to go to sleep, actually, because uh, it is uh, starting to become quite dark. Uh, so if everyone has a, a quick nap first, and then we can have a game of Broth Brawl. So if you didn't see us uh, playing Broth Brawl before, uh, this is a uh, extremely simple game. Basically, we all grab a piece of food, uh, we climb up onto the edge of the uh, big cooking pot, and uh, then we all gonna try and knock each other in and uh, see who can be the last person standing. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use a, a potato as my vegetable of choice <laughs> in this game. And to tell you what, let's have a, another little mini tournament then, seeing as we have time. The first person to be the last person standing for three rounds is going to be the, the winner of of this little bonus a broth brawl tournament that we're going to have as well. So everyone get up onto the uh, the cooking pot and uh, we will jump in in three, two, one, go, go, go. So I'm going to go and land on this uh, big eggplant here and then let's go after some other people. Oh, Finball's got a cake. Finball's got a cake. I didn't see that in the chest. Where's my cake? <laughs> and uh, once you're down in the water, you're not allowed to, to knock anyone else down. And oh, it looks like Finball won. It looks like Finball was the uh, the champion there. So uh, despite not being able to, to win any of the, um, uh, the mole hole uh, games, uh, he seems to be very good at a uh, broth brawl. So uh, yeah, once he wins two more times, he can be the uh, the champion here. To be fair though, he did have a cake. If I had a cake, I feel like I could do uh, a lot more damage. I've got lots of uh, experience around cakes. And oh, he's decided uh, to stay in the middle. That's okay. Uh, so we will begin the next round in three, two, one, go. Let's all go and jump in. And I can see Lee Bear standing. Oh, Lee Bear was trying to throw me a cake. You can throw me one for the, the next round. I think I'm just gonna have to go in here. Oh no, I just jumped off. I just jumped. I just slipped off this pepper. And it looks like it's Chloe and Finball left. Who's going to be the winner? And it's all just Finball. I did think that he was going <laughs> to jump off at the end there. Finball 
is doing very well at this one. He is doing amazing. In fact, if he wins one more time, uh, he is going to be the uh, the Broth Brawl champion here. So uh, what I think we all need to do is all go after Finball. It seems unfair, but I want to keep playing. And if he wins now, then it's going to be game over. So everyone after Finball. <laughs> Only joking. Everyone can uh, do what they want. Right. Where's my where's my cake, Lee Bear? Where's my cake? Oh, it seems a bit of a shame to start hitting people with it. I'd rather just eat it. But you know what? I think uh, I think needs must. I think I am going to have to use this cake as a uh, weapon. Right. So let's go and uh, jump back into the cooking pot in three, two, one, go. Oh, Finball looks scared. Finball looks scared. And he's straight down. He is straight down. <laughs> it looks like, oh, Chloe there was able to take out Lee Bear. Squashy took out Chloe. Can I take out Squashy? Oh, she can't see me. <laughs> I snuck up behind her, gave her a big slap with my cake and was able to, to knock her into the uh, the stew. <laughs> well done me. So that's uh, one point for me, uh, two for Finball, and uh, no uh, no points for, for anyone else yet. But there's still uh, plenty to, to play for. So let's go and uh, climb back up onto the, uh, the rim of the cooking pot and uh, be ready to jump back in again. So let's begin another round of Broth Brawl in three, two, one, go. So we all still need to be uh, very careful of Finball uh, because he uh, still only needs one more point to win. Uh, I just want to make sure no one's sneaking up behind me. And oh, it's me and Chloe left. It's down to just me and Chloe. Everyone else is down in the stew and Chloe's got herself stuck on a carrot. Oh no, she dropped me off. And yes, she was able to stay on as well, which means that is a point for Chloe. Well done to her. So that's uh, two points to Finball, uh, one point to me and Chloe each, and uh, no points yet for uh, Squashy and Lee Bear. So suddenly, uh, still everything to play for as uh, we climb back onto the edge of the cooking pot and uh, we can jump back in in three, two, one, go, 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 go. I'm going to jump on this salary, go on the pepper, jump on a pea, and then onto the aubergine. They're all getting knocked from behind by Squishy. She's chasing after me with a pumpkin pie and I was able to, to knock her in. But Chloe's going after me from the other side. Can I knock her in? Yes, I did. I'm taking everyone out. Fimble's in. It's just me and Lee going cake against cake. <laughs> oh, and he's jumped on the pepper, on the pea. Oh, we knocked each other in. We knocked each other in. That was a draw. No points for anyone. <laughs> I guess you can't fight cake with cake. That's what we've learned. <laughs> you can't have your cake and fight with it too. <laughs> right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch weapon for a bit. I think that I don't want to ruin that cake. I want to eat that cake later. So I am going to switch around and I am going to use a carrot this time instead. I feel like a carrot might be quite effective. It's quite long and thin, got quite good range. I can kind of just poke people off with it. Might work quite well. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Let's begin in a three, two, one, go. Oh, Squashy's put some some protection back on. She's gone and put on her, her pumpkin on her, her head again. And oh no, Lee Bear went after me. Oh, he knocked me and I landed uh, on this red pepper, but then immediately fen in, fell in. Looks like Finball's fallen in as well. So who is left? It seems to be Lee Bear and just Lee Bear, I think. Yeah, no one else is uh, still up. So Lee Bear uh, was the, uh, the winner of that round there and has finally uh, got himself on the, the scoreboard. So the scores are uh, one win to me, one win to Chloe, two to Finball, and uh, one to Lee. This whole time, Finball has only needed to win one round to win, but he's shown uh, that it can actually be very difficult. Even though he's very close to winning, uh, it's uh, very hard uh, to win in this game when everyone's going after you uh, from all different directions. Anyway, uh, let's begin the next round in three, two, one, go, 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 go. I'm going to jump down on this uh, big potato. I think it's a good idea to try and stay on some of the, uh, the bigger vegetables. Uh, rather than things like the uh, the peas, you can easily fall off. And it's just me and Chloe left now. It's just me and Chloe. She's there on the big mushroom. And oh, yes, I was able to, to knock her off. That means that is a uh, another point for me, which means if I win one more round, I could actually be the Broth Brawl champion. And I've never actually uh, won a, a proper game on this. So uh, that would actually be very exciting for me. If you remember uh, when we had our, our first Broth Brawl tournament, uh, Longbow was the, uh, the winner. So uh, I would actually wouldn't mind winning this game. This is my redemption. And Lee Bear and Squashy, seem to be having some strong words against each other there. <laughs> they look like they both want to, to go after each other. So I'll leave them to have their rivalry and I'll try and just jump around and get whoever remains. Anyway, uh, let's jump back into the stew in three, two, one, go, go, go. I'm going to jump down onto this celery. And I'm going to immediately go after Squashy if I can. Can I knock her off? And oh, I did, but I was knocked off as well. And oh, Finball was just about able to stay on there going after Lee Bear and Lee Bear was able to knock down Finball. And so it's now Lee against Chloe and uh, they they seem to be a little bit scared of each other. They seem to keep backing each other. No, Lee is not scared. Lee is charging in. Lee is destroying everyone and was able to win that round, which means he has also now got two points, which means that if uh, Finball, Lee, or me win this next round, then it's going to be them who is the overall winner, right? I'm switching back to my cake. The cake seems to be the most effective food to use.
<laughs> so that is the one I am going to use now. So we can jump back into the stew in three, two, one, go, 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 go. I'm going to jump onto this big broccoli. All right, let's see if I can take out Lee as soon as he jumps down. He's a bit late jumping down, but no, no, he was able to knock me in. It's now Lee, Finball, and Chloe. Remember, if Lee or Finball win, they are going to be the overall winner. Chloe looks a little bit scared, but look, Lee stuck up behind Finball and was able to, to take him out. That was a very sneaky move there, but Chloe seems to be chasing after Lee. It can be very dangerous jumping around like that because you can very easily fall in. But can Chloe get him? It's a big fight. No, they both knocked each other in. No winners. No winners. We are going to have another round. This is probably one of the most tense games I have ever played. And right, I'm switching vegetables. I'm fish, uh, switching vegetables. Let's go. Let's use a fish. Let's not use a vegetable at all. Let's use a raw fish. <laughs> that sounds like it might hurt a little bit. A soggy uh, fish I'm using as my weapon here. <laughs> right. Let's go and begin the next round in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Back down onto the uh, the broccoli. I want to try and play it safe this round if I can. Oh, no, it looks like Squishy's going after me. Can I get a... Oh, I was just about able to stay on the P, but no, I was then immediately knocked in, and so was um, Squishy. But look, whoever wins this now is going to be the overall winner. It's between Finball and Lee Bear. They both look scared. Oh, Lee Bear's throwing cake at Finball. Maybe a peace offering. Finball throws it back, but then Lee Bear dives in, but Finball is able to knock him off the mushroom and is the broth brawl champion <laughs> well done finball what a uh, dramatic ending to the game and you can now be showered in all of the uh, the food that we've been hitting each other with the entire game yeah i wouldn't really uh, recommend uh, eating any of that <laughs> oh dear anyway that is the end of this game and the end of this video here. So, uh, Lee Bear uh, was the uh, the champion of Moho, uh, the game that we were supposed to be playing, uh, but Finball was the uh, the champion of Broth Brawl. So, uh, a whole video full of playing lots of fun mini games. That is my favourite type of video to make. Uh, so, hopefully, you all enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, sadly, though, that is the end of this episode here. Uh, as always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode, uh, which will be online as soon as I have made it. Uh, so, for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you. Or later. Bye!